So today, boys, we are reacting to some TikTok ratty clips for two reasons. First reason, the UK is currently in a heatwave right now and it's far too hot to be rallying. And secondly, whilst at work, I decided to give myself this sunburn. So my arms are killing. But let's get on to it. First clip, let's see what we've got. Oh, also, while we're reacting to some of these, if you've got TikTok, make sure you go over to these people and follow them show them some support and love but first one definitely feel like i should be wearing a helmet and a harness when i'm rallying but let's see what he can do yep that's my runs every time the wheel doesn't come up though what else is there now i'm pretty sure this is project sim racing now this goes mad on any rally game not sure what car he's driving on. I think it's Group B, maybe the Audi. Could be wrong. And literally it says Audi right at the top of the screen. <laughs> In Japan. Man, these these this bloke's incredible. He's incredible. So this is what we love to see. This job can be done by both people. I love the fact that there's a co-driver in the background. Oh, I need to get myself a co-driver. Well, what you got for me then? Argentina. Dirt Rally 2. She knows what she's doing. She good. The concentration it takes to do that. Fair play. You know what? If you're good, you're good. Yeah. Mate, she, she's better than probably all of us. It's a motion rig as well. I love that. Unreal, mate. Unreal. Fair play to you. That one's going to get a little like. So I'm pretty sure most of these ratty clips of TikTok are going to be from Project Sim Racing. But I love this little bit down here. The actions in this video are performed by professionals or supervised professionals. Do not attempt. So do not go on WRC with your sim rig and do not crash. You are not a professional. Anyway, what have you got for us? Mediterraneo. I'm pretty sure this was the first stage in our last team championship event. Super difficult location. I'll crash there after practicing once or twice to get it right. I still got it wrong. But hey ho. Not bad. That man's got mad car control in itself anyway, so I, I could only dream about having a setup like this. That is Chef's Kiss. Motion rig. Damn. Right, what you got for us? What is that handbrake? It's got the air simulators as well. <coughs> I'll probably have to mute this one because of the music, but... If you've got a rig like this, let me know. And how much did it cost you? Seriously looking into buying something like that. That's insane. Love it. Great video. EAWRC's rain looks like like an overlay filter to me. I think what was that game on PS? The first Tomb Raider that had better rain overlay mechanic things. But yeah, this is Dirt Rally 4. Even Dirt Rally 2.0. They all got beautiful rain. Now look, when we get to EA's WRC, it, it's just an overlay filter. Terrible. I mean, look at that. Look at it. Look at that. That's the worst. It's almost like they don't care about the game. Here is your license, young man. Me, 0 0.2 nanoseconds later. Oh no. 
<laughs> so funnily, something similar happened to me. No, not like, like this, but so basically, I'd had my license about two years, and I was driving around country roads. And to say it bluntly, I was going around the corner, and the rear started to go in front of the front. And being in an experience, I just mashed the throttle and ended up in a field with a writ off car. So I've actually changed the search term. So rather than just doing EAWRC, I want to see some files and I want to see some funny stuff. Let's see what the files offer up. <laughs> see if you could hear the music now. <laughs> Let's put it limp biscuit rolling. Do you know what? We've all done that. We have all done that. Sometimes you just have to roll with it. See what I did there? Roll with it. I don't quite know what I'm looking at here. But is this man turning with some tires on his, on his wheel? You've got loads of wheels there, mate. Put one on. I suppose if you're good at the game, you've got to try and make it interesting. Oh, no. Love that, mate. You can have a like for that. So, actually, this is the T300 RS. I was completely off with my other guess. Never really... I've never owned Thrustmaster stuff, so I can't really say what's what. So, I know this isn't EA's WRC. But let's just go back to when Oit Tanak decided that he no longer wanted to be a rally driver and he wanted to fly planes. The speed he's travelling at, how he come out of this and his co-driver unarmed. To me, I think here... Let me get to it. I think here there's some compression that happens which causes the car to react the way it does. Yeah, a bit of compression there, which causes it just to pop up. Once the car's popped up, that steering just gets really low, so... That is crazy. How... How none of them got it just goes safe to the WRC he's currently in. It's hard to just get through your brain with the force of that impact. Thankfully, at least they're all okay. Now a couple of people in the events might relate to this. Just driving the car to the end on one wheel. I can't relate to that because normally I have terminal damage. But a lot of people will be able to relate to driving the car on three punctured tyres. Talking of Tanner. This man loves to have spectacular crashes. I think this is the one where he ends up in the uh, thing. So I think here, he doesn't want to be a rally driver anymore or a pilot. He wants to be a sailor. That's mad. I think what the craziest part of this is the fact that they put it out after. Well, that's it. Game over. Yeah, see, look, putting it out. But then Malcolm comes into the office and he goes, guys, we're going to have to get this guy ready for him tomorrow. That's mad. So I think Tanak in his career has tried to be a pilot, a rally driver, and a fucking fisherman, sailorman, boatman, captain of a ship, whatever they are. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. So yeah, like I said, the reason for no actual racing video is just because it's too hot, my shoulders are hurting. We'll just do some reaction content. I do need to react. I do need to react to some of the content in the Discord, which I've been promising the guys I would for a while, but I've just not got around to it yet. But yeah, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. It's completely free. Like the video, comment down below if you'd like to see more of these. And until the next time, I'll see you very, very soon.